take a soldering iron, weaken this side, come in here very carefully, and weaken that side. If you come across one of these, has a problem when you turn the car on actually for the second push button start and you have no dash lights, nothing up on your dash. I'm gonna show you how to kind of pull this apart and do a quick fix on this. Club box is pretty easy. Open it up, you've got two screws and that thing slides out of there. Um, this trim, you'll pull on the bottom and pull on the top and each one of these gray pieces will pop out. This display unit up here, you've got a 10 millimeter on the inside underneath this trim, another one under this side. It's pretty straightforward if you've ever taken trim off. With this trim piece removed, this panel on the top here will actually just pop right off. There's some clips right here and right here. And this whole piece will slide off. You'll disconnect your power button. Same with this, you'll disconnect your park switch. Um, you've also got the key fob uh, disconnect there. This, this panel will literally just pull down out of here. And there's a couple of screws down here and here that this panel will drop down and separate apart from this. All you have to do is just literally remove the top part of this dash, disconnect your SRS connector, and then you'll just pry the secondary part of the dash up across the whole thing. There's like one screw underneath there, one screw under here. The whole thing will just slide up and then slide out. This airbag actually stays attached to the upper part of the dash. You've got one 10 millimeter there. And when you squeeze the sides of this glove box and it drops down, there's two. There's two 12 millimeters that hold the bottom side of that airbag right up underneath there. These A-pillar trim pieces have an airbag under them, and they are actually pretty straightforward. The best way i found to get these loose is you just want to bump it from this side right here. And it'll actually just separate. And then you'll notice one catchy thing. You see that, that clip right in there? That little guy right there? It's actually supposed to be there so that when this airbag blows, the trim doesn't come out and hit you in the face. It actually blows this apart and the airbag will come out. Now that clip is pretty substantial. So the way you get that out is you take a pair of needle nose and you twist it. You just turn it like 90 degrees clockwise and that'll slide out of there. This piece will pull up, slide out of there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Take a soldering iron, weaken this side, come in here very carefully, and weaken that side. Take a pair of needle nose. As you heat up that solder, very gently, very gently work this side loose and then work the bottom side loose. And I believe this gray line here is the negative side. So I've taken a capacitor out of a out of an old TV board, just a junk TV, and this was a good capacitor. And you can see this is the negative side. And it is a Saxton, I believe, yeah, Saxton 220 UF 16 volt, which is what this is. It's a 100 UF 16 volt, and I'm going with a 220 UF. So my goal is to come in here and solder just like so. Boom, boom, negative and positive. Got this soldered on there. It's very tedious, but it's doable. So we've taken off the old 100 UF 16 volt capacitor and we've put a 220, 220 16 volt Saxton capacitor in its place. I was concerned. I was concerned that that capacitor height would hit as this fits back in flush, but as you can see, you line up these marks, it actually goes flush all the way up against the housing, top and bottom. I'll reassemble this in reverse order. Got one plug down here, these ribbon tape strips. The dash is back in. 
Make sure you hook up the SRS connector for the airbag. And then as a test fit, you'll plug these back in. That's for your instrument cluster and all your dash lights. And what I did is you can actually just pull this, this uh, power button switch right off of the plastic, plug it in. Same thing with your park switch. So you can at least have park and start. Foot on the brake. Batteries plugged back in. Oh dang! There went the plastic. But hey, we got dash lights again. One pointer I'll give on reassembly. This piece right here is all one thin plastic piece. It goes from top all the way to the bottom. And it's very brittle, so be careful. I mean, like you can see, it'll crack here. I've seen a lot of these crack diagonal and across here, um, around the edge of here and here. So the best way to do this is start at the top and slide your two tabs in at the top and then kind of, it's a big C-shape spring-loaded, kind of get those in at the bottom and then just kind of take the whole assembly and push it in like so, if that makes sense. Just guide the whole piece in top and bottom first. Dash is all back together. are back on. 180,000 miles on this bad boy. Backup camera working. Backup beep that you can hear from the inside of the car, which makes no sense at all. Cluster lights work. Uh, you can fix it, guys. For just a few bucks and maybe about three hours worth of time. It took me about two, two and a half hours to knock this repair out. So, not half bad. <laughs>